Hello, my name is Dr. Carlo Oger, emergency physician and founder of edexitvideo.com. This video is about Q fever. If you were diagnosed with Q fever and have any of the following symptoms, please stop the video and come back to the emergency department for evaluation. If you have cough or shortness of breath, if you have abdominal pain or abdominal pain that has worsened since your initial visit, if you have jaundice, which is a yellow coloration of the skins and eye, if you have confusion or any change in mentation like level of alertness, or if you have any other significant symptom that was not there on your first visit. Q fever is caused by an infection by the bacteria Coxiella burnetti. This bacteria is commonly found in cattle, sheep, and goats. It is concentrated in the placenta of infected animal, but it can be found in milk, urine, and feces. Infection in humans is usually caused by inhaling or breathing in even a very small amount of the bacteria. Rarely, infection can develop after drinking contaminated milk. Symptoms of Q fever. The symptoms of infection, well, first of all, it usually takes like 20 days after exposure for the bacteria um, to produce symptoms. Infection with this bacteria causes symptoms that will go away after treatment with an antibiotic. Headache, fatigue, muscle aches, fever, and chills are common. Other symptoms may include nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and jaundice, which is yellow discoloration of the skins and eye. That may mean that the infection has spread to the liver. Diagnosis. The diagnosis is made by x-rays, blood tests, and blood cultures. Treatment. Usually treatment is five to seven days of antibiotics. Follow-up. An echocardiogram should be done in follow-up to make sure there's no injury to the heart as a result of the infection. Follow-up serology should be performed for at least twice over six month period to make sure the infection is completely gone. For other videos like this video, please visit edxitvideo.com and remember, these are educational videos and should never replace the advice or attention of your primary care provider.